At 75, Tom Selleck and his partner are still together. Tom Selleck is an iconic Hollywood legend who's graced the entertainment industry with his presence since the 80s. From playing Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. to Dr. Richard Burke on Friends, Peter Mitchell in Three Men and a Baby, as well as Police Commissioner Frank Reagan for the TV series Blue Bloods, each of which have won him hearts across generations. Despite some ups and downs throughout his career, Tom has managed to stay out of trouble while remaining devoted to family life. Here are a few known facts about this talented actor that you may not be aware of. He dropped out of college to pursue acting. Tom Selleck's roots were planted in Detroit, yet he grew up in sunny Southern California. Despite his involvement with the Sigma Chi fraternity at University of Southern California and working as a male model to make ends meet, Tom chose to follow his dreams by dropping out of college just three credits shy of obtaining a business degree so he could pursue an acting career. As fate would have it, this courageous move paid off. Soon after leaving university, Tom signed a contract with 20th Century Fox. He's a veteran. From 1967 to 1973, Tom Selleck proudly served in the California Army National Guard. He was honored with the title of sergeant for his courageous service within the 160th Infantry Regiment. After that, he even graced recruiting posters to encourage other young men and women to enlist in this honorable mission. He was a contestant on The Dating Game. Tom Selleck's first two attempts at TV stardom through The Dating Game in 1965 and 1967 both ended unsuccessfully, possibly due to his lack of his signature facial hair. After all, who can resist Tom Selleck with a mustache? His mustache has a major presence. The moment you think of Tom Selleck, chances are the first thing that comes to mind is his iconic mustache. That's right, this facial hair has its own Facebook page with over 40,000 followers. Without it, he would be almost unrecognizable. However, thanks to his memorable stash and talent as an actor, we will always remember him fondly. He's been married twice. After a decade of marriage, Selleck and his first wife, Jacqueline Ray, ended their relationship in 1982. During this time, they also welcomed Kevin with open arms into the family, as Selleck adopted him from one of Ray's previous relationships. He was a struggling actor until his mid-30s. At the age of 35, Tom Selleck was launched into stardom when he took on the role as the leading man for Magnum P.I captivating crime drama about an enigmatic private investigator based in Hawaii. Prior to this life-altering moment, Selleck had been featured in six other TV pilots that were unfortunately not picked up by networks. He worked as a handyman. When the actor's strike put a halt on Magnum P.I. production for six months, Tom Selleck was already in Hawaii and had secured an apartment lease prior to filming being delayed. To make ends meet during this period of pause, he worked as a handyman for his landlord. He might have been Indiana Jones. In 2014, when chatting with David Letterman, Tom Selleck shared the story of how he'd been offered to star as Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Unfortunately for him, CBS required that he decline due to contractual obligations on Magnum P.I. Had things gone differently back then, who knows what cinematic history would have looked like today. He met his second wife after seeing her perform in Cats. Tom Selleck has been happily married to his wife, Jilly Mack, for over three decades. They first crossed paths in 1983 when Tom spotted her while she was performing in a London production of Cats. He believes that the key to their long-lasting marital bliss is his determination to prioritize family over career. He had a secret wedding. Tom Selleck and Jilly Mack tied the knot in secret at a Nevada chapel near Lake Tahoe in 1987 under the fictitious names Tom Jenkins and Susie Mark, ensuring that their union would remain private. Even more discreetly, they only snapped Polaroid photos of the special day so no one could get access to negatives. He played basketball in college. Towering at 6 feet 4 inches, it's no wonder that Tom Selleck was naturally drawn to the game of basketball. During his time as a student at the University of Southern California, he played for the school's men's team and made an undeniable impact on the court. He briefly dated Mimi Rogers. After splitting from Mimi Rogers, an actress who later married 80s icon Tom Cruise, 
Selleck met Jilly Mack and the two wed soon after. People magazine reported on their romantic journey together. Some people confuse him with Burt Reynolds. Although Tom Selleck and the late Burt Reynolds share many similar features, such as their mustaches, some people have still managed to mix them up. See for yourself why. He lives on an avocado ranch. Tom Selleck has a sprawling 65-acre ranch and avocado farm in California, but he told people that despite this fact, avocados make him nauseous. I can't stomach them. Every time I see one, it makes me want to vomit, revealed the actor. But it's just as well, I'll sell my portion. His daughter is an accomplished equestrian. Selleck and Mac have a daughter, Hannah, who has briefly explored the entertainment world yet decided to forge her own path. She is an expert equestrian and breeds horses for a living, a choice that speaks to her independent spirit. Three Men and a Baby is its highest grossing movie. Three of Hollywood's biggest stars, Steve Gutenberg, Ted Danson, and Selleck, starred in this 1987 blockbuster that told the story of three bachelors who unexpectedly find themselves caring for a baby. Despite stiff competition from other popular films such as Dirty Dancing, Lethal Weapon, and Fatal Attraction, it was the highest grossing movie that year. Far exceeding all of his previous films in terms of financial success, this movie earned an astonishing $167 million domestically. He once took part in Major League Baseball spring training. Tom Selleck had dreamt of his hometown team, the Detroit Tigers, since he was a young boy. To authentically portray Mr. Baseball in 1992's eponymous movie, Tom spent three weeks at spring training with the Tigers and felt as prepared for this role than any other before. He relayed to Deseret News that, I was never more prepared for a movie role. He's only done Broadway once. In 2001, Tom Selleck made his Broadway debut in the revival of A Thousand Clowns. Critics had a lukewarm response to both his performance as well as the show itself. This has been and remains to be Selleck's only foray into Broadway. He's an animal lover and once had a family cow cremated. Tom Selleck has a compassionate heart for animals, especially dogs. At one time, he had five canines, a German Shepherd, an English Cocker, and three Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. He also acted alongside his furry friend in the Jesse Stone film series. In 2009, on The Daily Show, Tom described to Jon Stewart all the creatures that lived on their ranch, even disclosing how they were so devoted to one cow that after she passed away, they asked the veterinarian to cremate her remains so they could keep her close forever. He was told that his friend's role might hurt his career. Despite being advised that taking a role on the acclaimed sitcom Friends would be detrimental to his career, the actor decided to accept because he was fond of both Courtney Cox and Folks, which they'd previously auditioned for together. Much to his surprise, this choice yielded an Emmy nomination as well as introducing him to a new generation of fans. He's a bit of a Luddite. Tom Selleck is an old-fashioned type of guy. He's only sent one text message in his entire life and even avoids email. Shockingly, the actor doesn't use Twitter or Instagram like many other celebrities do, completely foregoing the new technology wave. He does not have a name for his mustache. Tom Selleck has no nickname for his famous mustache and offers none to those looking to grow their own. He's quick to attribute its entirety to genetics. You either have it or you don't he declared in GQ magazine. He did a write-in vote in the 2016 election. When the 2016 presidential election rolled around, Tom Selleck refused to cast his ballot for either of the two main candidates. On The View, he announced that instead of voting for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, he wrote in Dallas Police Chief David Brown as his choice for president. He has an honorary degree from Pepperdine University. Despite dropping out of USC, Selleck didn't give up on his academic dreams. In the year 2000, he was bestowed an honorary doctorate from Pepperdine University. At the graduation ceremony, he seized this opportunity to impart words of wisdom about character to ambitious young students. He wishes the new Magnum PI well. Even though he isn't taking part in the CBS revamp starring Jay Hernandez, 
Tom Selleck has graciously given his approval to it. He won't be featured on the show, but apparently there is one episode that will give a nod to Selleck's iconic mustache. He doesn't like being thought of as a sex symbol. During the prime of his career, Tom Selleck was a household name in Hollywood and frequently graced the cover of Playgirl magazine four times. Nevertheless, he never considered himself an Adonis or a Casanova, quite humble for someone whose image was idolized by both men and women alike. I think of myself as an actor first, not as a sex symbol. Do I think I'm sexy? No. That's someone else's judgment. And I honestly don't think you can try to be sexy and really succeed. During a 1989 interview with the Chicago Tribune, he was the first celebrity guest on The View. Tom Selleck made history in 1997 when he became the first ever celebrity guest on the iconic talk show The View. Unsurprisingly, 16 more appearances followed throughout its two-decade run. Most recently, Selleck dropped by to promote his hit series Blue Bloods, a testament to his long-standing relationship with The View and an incredible milestone for all involved. He's never had plastic surgery. Tom Selleck has yet to try plastic surgery, but he's open to the idea of utilizing it in moderation. In a 2014 GQ interview, he noted that, if I can look at plastic surgery as a tool and not a kind of narcissistic manifestation of vanity, I do think there's a difference between that kind of vanity and your work. Ultimately, Tom believes if cosmetic enhancement enabled him to continue pursuing various roles in his career path without being judged or hindered by age-related obstacles, then such measures are acceptable and even beneficial. He shaved off his trademark mustache for In-N-Out. Tom Selleck famously shed his iconic mustache for the 1997 film In-N-Out, where he plays a renowned gay entertainment reporter who embarks on a journey of self-discovery and shares an intimate kiss with Kevin Klein's character. Amazingly enough, decades later, Tom offered to shave off his mustache once again this time for CBS's show Blue Bloods. However, much to our dismay, the network declined. He danced with Princess Diana at a White House dinner. It's no secret that John Travolta is remembered for his dance with Princess Diana at the 1985 White House dinner, yet Tom Selleck was also there and had a turn on the dance floor. He says she was charming and lovely, but Selleck confesses he felt nervous while dancing with her, even though he learned to waltz in his teens for cotillion balls. The poster for Three Men and a Baby was a memorable experience. The poster of the movie Three Men and a Baby features Selleck with his co-star Steve Gutenberg, Ted Danson, and an infant while dressed in a visibly drenched shirt, reportedly after being urinated on. During his talk with Jimmy Fallon, the actor divulged that having a wet shirt in the photo was not intentional. It just so happened that the baby peed on him and Amy Leibovitz decided to work with it. He humorously noted, it's actually, for once in my life, a genuine expression of how he felt about being drenched by an infant. He's a picky eater. Tom Selleck is renowned for his unique food preferences. During a chat with Rachel Ray, he divulged some of the quirky eating quirks that make him tick. For example, he may not prefer figs as an individual fruit, but Fig Newtons are one of his favorite snacks. James Garner was his mentor. After working together on the Rockford Diaries, Tom Selleck and James Garner formed a strong friendship, with the latter even being referred to as a mentor by the former. Despite his passing in 2014, Selleck still believes that it's possible for people to gain meaningful insights from this Emmy Award-winning star. He was starstruck by Faye Dunaway When Rachel Ray wondered if he had ever experienced starstruck, Selleck reminisced about his time with Faye Dunaway in the 2000 movie Running Mates, which left him unable to utter a word. During an intimate scene between them both, it suddenly occurred to him that she was none other than Hollywood icon Faye Dunaway, and all of his carefully rehearsed lines flew out the window. After being asked what was wrong by the confused director, Tom couldn't even explain why he had frozen up, as he just knew it must have been due to her sheer presence. He's an Aquarius Tom Selleck, born January 29, 1945, is an Aquarius, famously known to be a rebellious individual who walks his own path. In addition to Tom Selleck, famous celebrities Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres also share this astrological sign. 
he doesn't like going to the gym. Tom Selleck has informed GQ magazine that he isn't a fan of fitness centers. Instead, he harnesses his workouts from the work around his 63-acre ranch. I do not all but quite a bit of the manual labor, brush clearing, planting trees, Selleck noted. At present, we have about 100 ancient oaks I planted personally, and I guess I've put in at least 1,000 total. Needless to say, Tom's routine keeps him fit and strong. He was honored with a Paley Award. The Paley Center is proud to recognize Tom Selleck's extensive contribution to the television landscape with a 2020 Paley Award. In response, he joyfully shared his long journey from being an eager radio fan as a kid, then enduring disappointment in not making it on the USC basketball team, and eventually arriving at this moment of celebration. I'm not sure where getting here lands you, commented Selleck, so I'm incredibly thankful for the Paley Center inviting me along on this remarkable adventure. He doesn't dye his hair. Tom Selleck's signature salt and pepper hair isn't a product of dyeing, it's entirely his own. During an interview with GQ, the actor spoke about how he doesn't bother to color in the grays. He joked that having gray hair at his age softens all the other horrible things it does to you. In fact, for Blue Bloods, Tom went so far as to add grayer into his mustache. He had great parents. Tom Selleck has said in a GQ interview that his parents, who are now gone, were incredible people. He added that he believes, as he grows older, he's taking on more of the characteristics and personality of his father. I often find that I'm channeling my dad in some of the things I talk about, Selleck shared. My daughter and I are especially close to him. He was a large, intimidating man at 6 feet 4 inches tall, but he had an incredible heart and sense of justice. Many people remember him coaching them through Little League or being involved in other activities around town. When these memories resurface for me, it's not like, oh no, am I becoming my father? Instead, it's more welcoming than anything else. He's writing an autobiography. Tom Selleck, joining many other renowned individuals of a specific generation, is composing his life story in an autobiography. People have been asking me for years and I'm finally going to do it, he told Deep in Your Connections with Closer Weekly, a magazine that brings you closer to the stories and people you care about. We're talking to publishers now. He came up with Magnum P.I.'s signature look. As Selleck mentioned, it was his idea to have Magnum P.I. don the iconic Hawaiian shirts as they now represent him too closely in public life. He humorously told Martha Stewart that if I wear them now, somebody will say, Tom, get over it. The show's off the air. So unfortunately, I can no longer sport my beloved Hawaiian shirts. With his charming wit and lightheartedness, Tom Selleck has imprinted a unique mark on pop culture with this particular fashion statement, one which he himself initiated decades ago. He gave Nancy Reagan a friendly kiss. Tom Selleck offered his services as an umpire to a charity tennis match at the White House in May 1985, and even captured a photo op with First Lady Nancy Reagan after presenting her with a racket. His presence, along with other celebrities present, was able to raise $450,000 for the Nancy Reagan Drugs Abuse Fund. The two were reunited again during another charitable event, as seen below in 2002. He's regarded as a perfectionist by his co-stars. Donnie Wahlberg, Selleck's co-star on Blue Bloods, has portrayed him as a perfectionist when it comes to his craft. When Wahlberg had the opportunity of directing an episode of Blue Bloods featuring Selleck, he was able to witness firsthand the actor's hard-working and committed approach. He's so dedicated to his work that you're not going to come in and tell him these magnificent ideas that you have of how to make a scene special. Wahlberg told PopCulture.com that prior to any meeting, his passionate colleague already had an impressive 500 ideas ready. This just goes to show how dedicated he is in helping make their work the best it can be. He's a fan of quotations. If you're looking for guidance from Tom Selleck, he's likely to share some sage words. As he once commented in an interview with GQ, I'm a fan of quotes. One of his favorites is, few are as good as we think, none are as good as we can be. His career has included westerns. Tom Selleck has had a lengthy and successful career portraying rugged Western characters in films, most notably 1990's Quigley Down Under. 
He's even honored as part of the National Cowboy Museum's Hall of Great Western Performers for his on-screen work. In an interview with Cowboys and Indians, Tom reflected fondly about his childhood spent watching classic Western films, which left a deep impression. I was raised in tract housing, but grew up watching Westerns, and those movies had a profound influence on me. He's done doing his own stunts. Tom Selleck divulged to DQ that although he used to do a lot of his own stunts, age has taken its toll on him. He admitted, My back's not in great shape now. Doing movie stunts involves taking risks but also sitting around. It accumulates and takes its toll over time. Despite the fact that these stunts weren't particularly difficult for Tom at the time, his body isn't what it once was. People criticize him for Magnum P.I.'s short shorts. Magnum P.I. is remembered by many as a successful television series. However, one prevailing criticism that Tom Selleck often receives is regarding his shorts being too short. In an Entertainment Tonight video, he humorously responded, I know my shorts were too short, everyone tells me. They were just how shorts are supposed to be. Nowadays, though, people wear their pajamas outside. He was an honorary captain of the 1984 Olympics. Tom Selleck was the esteemed captain of the U.S. Olympic men's volleyball team in 1984 when they competed at home in Los Angeles for their shot at gold. His passion for sports resonated off the court, too, as he enjoyed playing volleyball in his own free time. 